Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Ships of Naval Action. So today we are here with, as you can see, one of the oldest ships in Naval Action. She was uh, commissioned in 1722, while uh, most ships in Naval Action are more newer. They're usually, let's say, somewhere between 1750 and 1820. I believe the Mercury is the youngest, uh, built in 1820. But it's important to mention because she, as you might be able to see, she has a very old design. She doesn't look like the more streamlined, more modern frigates and ships of the line. So, let's uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, talk about her history, talk about what she is and all of that. And uh, then we'll get to her in-game. So the Wappen von, the Wappen von Hamburg is, uh, well, the Wappen von Hamburg 3, the third one, is, uh, she looks like a ship of the line, but she isn't a ship of the line. She was a convoy ship that was made to replace a predecessor of her, also conveniently called Wappen von Hamburg, and uh, which also conveniently replaced its predecessor, which was also Wappen von Hamburg. So the Wappen von Hamburg, they were uh, convoy ships made to protect uh, the convoys that of the city-state of Hamburg. As you might know, at the time there wasn't a country as Germany. It was a bunch of different city-states and different small countries. And, uh, and Hamburg, specifically, was a very important trade hub. You can uh, compare it to like Amsterdam or London at the time. Of course, Amsterdam and London were part of bigger nations. Hamburg was just a city-state. So they still needed something to protect all of their uh, naval uh, naval shipping. And uh, that's why they made the first weapon from Hamburg, then the second one, and eventually, as we are here, third. They would also in the future make a fourth one, but we don't have that in-game. There isn't much, too much known about it, so I won't discuss that at all. We're talking about the one in-game, which is the third one. Um, so yeah, she was uh, designed by a certain Jakob Menke, and Ged Gedson Jr. and uh, was built in Hamburg, uh, built in uh, 1722 as mentioned, and uh, she is uh, she has a very important design element, which uh, was her downfall. And uh, at first glance, you won't really understand or see why, but she was built more along British lines. Her previous uh, her predecessors, the first and the second one, were built more among Dutch lines. So, this was actually a big mistake, you, you might think, but I mean, if it's an ocean-going convoy ship, what does it matter? Well, the problem was uh, the river... Ooh, which river was that? Uh, the river Elba, I think. Uh, no, Elba just means river. I can't find it quickly. That is my mistake. But anyways, I think it is the Elba River. Never mind, it is the Elba River. And Elba River, well, it's shallow. What do British uh, designs have versus Dutch designs? Well, the Netherlands have a lot of experience with shallow waters uh, because the Netherlands is surrounded by shallow waters. That's why they never really built any what British would call first rates. So the Dutch designed early ships, they were just fine, the, they loved them, the reason the last one was the commission was its repairs were too expensive and they were like, no, we don't want to pay for the repairs. So instead they decided to build a new one. Well, this new one, British Lines, yeah, she, was, she had too deep of a draft, so she was useless. That's, she, she, she was entirely useless. And she did an entire two, that's right, two entire convoy uh, runs, because she just wasn't practical, she, she, the danger of her running around was too big. So, they uh, tried to sell her, they almost managed to sell her to the Spanish, I believe, but that fell through. They tried to sell her to someone else, but the Admiralty, they weren't able to sell it. So she was for 15 years, um, 
she, uh, well, she was busy uh, just, or for 13 years, two years of convoy due to 13 years she was a defense ship or a floating battery. Where afterwards the city of Hamburg agreed to commission a new ship which would lead to the Wappen von Hamburg 4, which was a again built on Dutch lines because shallower draft. And uh, she was sell, uh, sold as an armed merchantman and apparently she was uh, in uh, use until 1757. So she uh, did uh, have a service life for a few years, but not really as a convoy ship, but eventually more as a merchantman. Her, her deep draft was her downfall. Just it didn't fit with uh, what the what the Germans wanted or the Hamburgians wanted and the shipbuilder Menke I think it was yes he uh, he was blamed for this he had convinced Hamburg that it won't be a problem British lines it's a lot better better structurally and sailing and all of that but being better structurally and sailing better doesn't matter if you can't use it where you need to use it which is of course why Dutch ships were always shallow draft they were fatter, they were had more leeway, they didn't sail as well as British vessels, but they were perfect for Dutch use. So, that's the history of the Wappen von Hamburg 3. And I should mention the Wappen, Wappen in this case means weapon, so gun, sword, whatever, and not coat of arms, which it sometimes gets confused with, even I get conf have mis mistakenly said so in the past. Wappen, it's the weapon and not the coat of arms. And if I got that switched up again, I will be very embarrassed. But I'm sure enough. I won't say 100% sure, but I'm sure. So, let's get to her in naval action. So, in the somewhere on screen, you will now see the specific Wappen von Hamburg that I have. I have mounted her with 24 pounder cannons in the lower gun deck, 18 pounders in the middle gun deck, upper gun deck has. 32 pound carronades, I believe, and the weather deck has carronades. I don't quite remember what size carronades, however. So, in game, she is. I mean, I'll start off with how she looks. I don't like how she looks. She feels way out of place, and I'm about to sneeze. My apologies. Anyways, so she looks. She looks out of place. She, it's a 17th century, like early 18th century, late 17th century design. She, she looks out of place. She isn't as sleek as all the other ships. She's very short and stubby. I don't like how she looks, but, but some people do. She, she is, in terms of naval action, she has a unique look. The Ingemanland gets somewhat close, but not quite. I think Ingemanland is a way better looking ship. And in terms of looks, she fits better in naval action. But, uh, well, the Wappen von Hamburg, look-wise, you might disagree. Weapons-wise, however, she is quite capable. So, she is in naval action, she is a 4th rate. She has 62 guns, I believe, in total. Each broadside, I mean, you will be looking the, at the video, you'll see the guns in the bottom lower corner. But it's 62 guns, I believe. 24 pounders on the lower gun deck. 18-pounders uh, in the middle, as I mentioned, which is, it's in line, something like the Agamemnon or the Ratvisan, I believe, have similar armaments or uh, the Constitution, 24-pounders, gun deck, and then 12-pounder on the weather deck, but for freight you'll find has similar armament, arm, armaments, armaments, armaments to each other. She does, however, don't have too many of the heavier guns since she's quite stubby she isn't very long so she has a small number of heavy guns and a lot more on the weather deck and she also has a quote-unquote fourth deck on top as you can see with six guns each it's kind of useless gun deck but considering you can mount heavy enough carronades on it i've got uh, carronades mounted on it if you could only mount cannons on it I would just skip the cannons because they they will be just be taking up crew, not doing too much. But carronades, I love carronades. 
she can also carry actually carry nades on all her decks. But there is something about having the extra penetration of cannons or long guns. I have long guns on mine. So, finally, her qualities in sailing. I, I think she's. This is all going by feel. I'm not going with any actual numbers because there's probably. You, you can look the actual numbers online. But how she feels. I, I think she's quite enjoyable to sail. I don't sail her a lot because of her ornament and her weird looks. I love sailing ships based on looks. But she turns like a dream. And honestly, that's what I'd expect. A shorter stubby ship will uh, turn better. So I, I feel like she is a great turner. She's great at melee. And uh, if you want to go in, tur turn with your enemies and do all of that, she's a wonderful ship. So anyways, this has been a quick video on the Wappen von Hamburg 3. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. Feel free to leave some feedback down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.